started off um, just with the little money that we have and bought our first packet of coffee and roasted it and the money that we got from that we bought two more packets and that's how we've grown our business. So now we're at a point where we are upscaling the business. So I am really excited about collaborations with Batwana Baristas, Batwana Businesses. I would love to see more Batwana in the business of coffee. There's so many facets of it that I would love to see a Mutana farming coffee in Kenya. I would love to see a Mutana curator. I would love to see other Batwana roasters. I don't want to be the monopoly in the industry. My name is Nell. I'm the co-founder of Romantic Coffee. So what we do is we buy green coffee beans from coffee producing countries like Kenya, from Ethiopia, from Rwanda, and then even from uh, outside of Africa and South America like Colombia, Guatemala, and Brazil. And we bring it here, we roast it, we package it, and we sell it to um, a lot of the hotels and restaurants based in Kaborone. I brought it to Botswana because the coffee culture here is chicory coffee, yori coffee, and I just wanted um, to introduce something something more. I wanted us to learn a lot more about it. I wanted us to be involved in the trade yeah, things. And I think it's a great opportunity to have inter-African trade, which is what we're doing right now. Some of the best coffee is grown in Africa, so I thought, let's buy from each other. It will be sort of a motivation to, to get some of the legislation to change and accommodate inter-African trade. And on either side of it, for Kenya, for the customer, they should make it easier for us to trade and vice versa. So that's, that's the big dream. The reason we want to trade within Africa is we want to grow together. Not trading with each other has been one of the things that is slowing down um, the direct connection between us. Right now, yes, it's a little bit difficult, but the more there is into African trade, the more there will be a need for a flight from Ethiopia coming here. Because if we're not trading with each other, then it doesn't make business sense to have to make it easy to travel in Africa. So one of the reasons we're doing this is for a little Nara Nelly, our little bit of contribution towards um, making these things move. Because if I complain about um, it being difficult for me to go to Kenya and trade with it, yes, I trade it, then there's really no point. But if I'm saying, listen, I'm doing business with Kenya and I need at least three flights a month and it's difficult, then that holds more water. So I think we're, we're in a very difficult territory, but it's just to pave the way for, for better things.